What up, internet? Hey there, camera. We're bumbling tourist. We are. We just wanted to give a little bit of context to things we were seeing in Tainan in this video. Oh, hey there, bumblefears, and welcome to a new vlog series. <laughs> Uh, so after we explored uh, Koksanga, I believe that's how you say it, temple and gar or garden park thing, and the Great South Gate, we walked a little bit further on, and we explored this really cool place uh, called the... We'll let the video clip guy introduce it to you. Hey, where are this we? This is Blue Plint and Cultural Creative Park. You might want to try that again. Blueprint Cultural and Creative Park. There you go. Let's go look at some culture. Or at least the blueprint for it. Hey, the sign says what it is. Mm. Hey, said it right. The second time. It's an art installation. It is. It's like a little collective area with a lot of street art really neat street art. We have a lot of pictures of that. Um, a lot of little cafes, a lot of little shops. There were even like little um, almost marketplace stalls set up, people selling handicrafts, soaps, necklaces, you know. Should we go in whatever this is? Wanna play the blue piano? know what's going on. That's tricky to walk through. Uh, this area used to be um, some sort of government dormitories or something. If anybody knows anything more about what this place is, please, please comment let us know. below. Yeah, we'd like to know a little bit more about it. There's a lot of really cool blueprint themed art. Yeah, a lot of like independent artisans type stuff going on. And cool street art, look at that. coins in the machines here and not jam the machines yeah, it's, it's not happening
after that, though, we started heading back towards our Airbnb after having a delicious sushi dinner. Where Delightful. I, I don't think there's any clips from the sushi dinner, but it was an interesting scenario for me where I've never had um, an experience where I've had to communicate in a second language. And while we don't speak Japanese at all, um, the lady that worked at the sushi restaurant we went to did not speak any English at all, but in common we had Japanese. So barely, barely. Barely. We had barely any Japanese. She, she seemed to be pretty fluent in Japanese. So a couple of the things in the menu, because the menu was 100% in Mandarin, she had to like describe to us in Japanese. But, just that the Japanese word for beer is biru. <laughs> biru. <laughs> biru. No, biru. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know if you needed Japanese but for that transfer. Not, not so much for the beer, but, um, yeah. That yeah. exchange was clear. For the exchange. Anyway, after that, we walked back towards our Airbnb and we came along a very busy street with lots of night action things going on. Yeah, um, the route we were taking told us to go through there. We weren't sure if the entire street was blocked off or not. What do you think's going on? Um, I thought maybe a wedding, so I'm afraid to walk through it. That's fair. And also we weren't sure if it was inappropriate to go that, down there because we didn't know the nature of the gathering. Like worst case scenario, if it was like a, a funeral or a mourning or something, like you don't want to go waltzing through there all touristy. <laughs> But it seemed intriguing and that uh, the spirits were high and people were having fun. So I kind of wanted to check it out. Plus it looked like the other ways around would take longer. So I thought, well, why not? And then as we walked down there, uh, we felt more and more awkward and out of place and like, oh, we, we shouldn't be here. Yeah, probably shouldn't have gone that way. Oops. You would think it would be a wedding, but I wonder if it wasn't because nobody was dressed up. They're all dressed very casual, shorts and t-shirts sort of thing. So yeah. if you do know what's going on in these clips, if you know if it's a wedding or a funeral or what's going on, let us know. Uh, we'd like to know that as well. Town meeting. Yep. <laughs> I don't know, anyway, yeah. I, I quickly shut off the camera and felt like, mm -hmm. oh, maybe we shouldn't have gone down there. Mm -hmm. But you know, it. I think, in most instances, it's probably better to roll the dice, and as long as you're polite, then hopefully it works out. Imagine it was something like a live circumcision. Or if it was a, <laughs> a really rad party, and they're all like, hey, hang out with us, and yeah. oh, what fun, like, I, I don't know, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I don't... It was a I hate foreigners convention. <laughs> it's I, like I, foreigner the band, yeah. not foreigner the us. I, I... Yeah, I hope we didn't upset anyone. Um, I don't think we were particularly welcome, but I also don't think that we like ruined every, anyone's night, so it's probably fine. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, let us know if you know any context about either of these things, the, the yeah. street thing or the art park. Yeah. And uh, we'll come back with another video at the end of the week. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and... Uh, Peace out. Almost out. Want to cheers to camera? Cheers, camera. Yo.